It feels like no matter how much we learn about this beautiful planet we call home, there is always another layer of the onion to peel back, especially when it comes to what lies beneath the surface. Hey most amazing crew, I'm your host Kennedy and today we are diving deep into the mysteries of our crazy planet by counting down the top 10 unsettling discoveries found deep in the Earth's crust. Let's get started. Number 10 are ancient organisms. If you're anything like me, you probably assumed that the Earth's crust was way too hot to allow for any kind of life. Well, as it turns out, that couldn't be further from the truth. A study that came out in 2016 revealed that there are actually tiny little microbes called Hades archaea that have not only been surviving, but thriving in the fiery hot temps. At first glance, they kind of resemble bacteria, but apparently the two groups are about as similar as a human and a tree. The name name Hades Archaea roughly translates to hellish ancient things, which seems appropriate considering their spicy living habitat. What is especially strange about these tiny microbes is that at the depth of the crust, there's an intense lack of oxygen and light. But scientists are theorizing that they make do with whatever forms of carbon seep down their way. Plus, them being so small helps the whole ordeal, as they require very little energy to replicate or do much of anything at all. Coming in at number 9 is is an underground ocean. According to a study done back in 2015, scientists believe that below your feet, within the Earth's crust, lies roughly six quintillion gallons of water. I didn't even know quintillion was a number to begin with. For reference, that's about a thousand times more water than all of the Great Lakes combined, or enough to cover all of the planet's land masses in nearly 600 feet of water. Essentially, if you exclude water that is frozen inside glacier caps, about 95% of the planet's fresh water lies in the Earth's crust. I'm sure you're thinking, what great news, this could stop world water issues. Well, before you get too excited, due to intense droughts in California, more and more of this groundwater is being used every year. And once it's gone, we may never get it back. And worse, the depletion of water in certain areas is actually causing the ground to sink over time as it's being used faster than it's renewed. So if something doesn't change, we could be in a bit of trouble. Number eight, a vacation. In 2018, a study gave evidence that the globe may have taken a wee little 100 million year nap during the Paleoproterozoic era. Say that 10 times fast. From what scientists can tell, the Earth stayed relatively dormant, tectonic plates hardly moved, sediment slowed down exponentially, and very few volcanoes were erupting. Again, this is for an entire 100 million years. This was also coming after a time when the Earth's innards were notoriously hot and caused an insane amount of volcanic activity, so for it to just stop for so long and then restart again is very weird. And they haven't really been able to figure out why. But after so much time being dormant, when it finally did get back into the swing of things, volcanoes were blowing up so much that it actually changed the continental crust's composition and caused it to fracture into smaller pieces, eventually resulting in how tectonic movement behaves today. Coming in at number 7, the Mayotte Mystery. Back in 2018, strange waves rippled across the planet for nearly 20 minutes. And believe it or not, scientists didn't even notice. That was until a civilian who happened to be watching a live seismograph feed brought it to their attention. The strange waves began November 11th near the island of Mayotte, which is a small island a few miles west of Madagascar, and triggered equipment across several countries in Africa before traveling across the sea and pinging sensors in New Zealand. Zealand, Chile, Canada, and Hawaii. I mean, that is some serious distance. Apparently, seismologists have never seen anything like it since. According to the size of the waves, a magnitude 5 eruption should have happened that day, but it never did. Even stranger is that apparently, earthquakes typically release waves with several frequencies, but the Mayotte waves had only one signal that repeated itself every 17 seconds. Many seismologists have theorized what exactly went down that strange day, but truthfully, much of the mystery about the phenomenon remains unanswered. An alien interference perhaps? Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Coming in at number 6, it's melting. 
I truly wish I was rickrolling you, but unfortunately this is no joke. A group of University of Wyoming professors and students have identified an unusual belt of igneous rocks that stretch about 2,000 miles through the western side of North America. Igneous rocks are what happens when magma or molten rock cool and crystallize either in a volcano or on the Earth's surface. It's normal to find these rocks along chains of volcanoes, but this one is much farther inland than you would expect, and it contains no evidence of producing volcanoes. Well, nothing is for sure, they believe it could have to do with an event called Laramide Orogeny, which was essentially the origin of most mountain ranges in Wyoming. And despite a lack of igneous rock there, they have a theory that the tectonic progresses contributed to the melting of the Earth's crust. The other theory is that water infiltrated the deep crust, lowering the melting point of the rocks and increasing the amount of magma. Listen, I know that was a lot of big words, but essentially the crust is melting and it's, well, probably not great. Coming in at number five, a growth spurt. One thing I did not have on my 2023 bingo card was learning that the Earth's crust can actually grow. Well, at least sort of. Back in 2021, Curtin University researchers set out to test the theory that portions of Earth's ancient crust acted as seeds from which later generations of crust grew. Kind of like a sourdough starter for the planet. At least that's what I'm telling myself. They were able to confirm that theory by using ancient crystals from eroded rocks found in stream sediments in Greenland, which frankly sounds a little witchy, and I mean that as a compliment. Apparently these findings not only advance the understanding of the production of the crust, but have also revealed a 3 billion year old growth spurt that occurred when mantle temperatures reached an all time peak and the magma from below kind of oozed into the older fragments and voila, the more you know. Coming in at number four, a breakaway piece. Okay, so this might not have been found inside the crust of the earth, but I think that you will agree that this one still counts. A few years ago in 2017, scientists discovered a piece of extremely old crust on the surface of the planet. Now, when I say extremely old, that's no exaggeration. Researchers have estimated it dates back at least 4.3 billion years, which is pretty significant considering the planet itself is estimated to have been around only a smidge longer at 4.5 billion. This particular chunk of rock was discovered enveloped in granite along the eastern shore of the Hudson's Bay in Quebec, an area referred to as the Canadian Shield. It was a pretty crazy discovery considering up until that point, the oldest piece of crust uncovered was only 2.7 billion years old, which while that's still obvious, ancient is no match to the newest discovery. Researchers believe that this is going to help them not only understand the development of our planet, but also understand the development of other planets in the solar system, and I mean, who knows what will be uncovered from that. Coming in at number three, a giant abyss. Now there is a lot about the planet that I don't understand, and I'm okay with that, honestly. But finding out that there is a giant hole in the Earth's crust that scientists all know about that is supposedly fine, kind of broke my brain a little bit. Researchers believe that the hole was caused when a piece of the Earth's crust that measured roughly 60,000 square kilometers was ripped apart roughly 2 million years ago by a 120 kilometer extension along a detachment fault. It's now been coined the Banda Detachment as it sits under the Banda Sea in eastern Indonesia and is roughly 7 kilometers deep, which is pretty creepy to think about the big hole in the planet. Luckily, there are some some upsides, scientists think it will help them understand tsunami risks in the area, so at least there's that. Coming in at number two are giant blobs. Okay. So full transparency, these are not found in the Earth's crust. But before you start pointing fingers, they are really strange and no one knows what the heck they are, so it only felt fair to include them on the list. The farthest that humans have ever been able to tunnel down is about 7.6 miles. But thanks to advances in technology, scientists are now able to look even further down with the help of seismological data. In 2016, a team of researchers from Arizona State University used 
this technology to dive into a decade long mystery within the Earth. Apparently, there are two blob type masses the size of a large continent, one located below the Pacific Ocean and the other Africa, and no one has ever been able to determine what they are. The blobs are believed to be made of a different composition than the rest of the mantle, but truthfully, they have no real clue what they are made of either. At least not yet. So here's hoping it's something that will soon be explained by science and not some creepy alien life form on Earth. And last up in our number one spot is a missing chunk. So not only is the crust kind of melting, not only is there a 7 kilometer void under the sea thanks to a 2 million year old fault line, but there is apparently also a missing chunk. I mean it just keeps getting better. Apparently deep under the Atlantic Ocean lies what is being described as an open wound on the ocean floor. The wound was puzzling scientists for years because it defies the existing knowledge of how tectonic plates should work. That was until a team of British scientists set sail to try and figure it out for themselves. They came to the conclusion that the erosion was due to the hypothesis of snowball earth, a theory that explains within those billion years or so there were intervals where up to a third of the earth's crust was sawn off by roaming glaciers. Those sawn off chunks were then essentially sucked into the mantle by tectonic plates, exposing a chunk of the earth without a crust. Now. I won't lie to you, this one is hard to wrap my brain around because I mean a missing chunk of anything never really sounds like a good thing, but I'm just gonna trust the people that are smarter than me on this one and try not to think about how close it sounds to the Stranger Things underworld portal. Thanks so much for watching today guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you next time.